Good morning. Today I would like to explore a little bit the subject of salvation. We have certain ideas of what salvation is um, from our theological training, our, 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 you know, if we're Christians. And the struggle that I have is too often my ideas about what something is regarding Jesus and, and God is formed by something other than the Word of God. So I want to look and see what does God say or think about when we mention the subject salvation. Turn with me in your Bibles to um, John chapter 3, verse 17. Now, verse 16 is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. To understand that, you've got to go back to verse 14 and look at the context. But I want to look at 17 because John here tells us, from God's perspective, the purpose why he sent his Son into the world. It says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So here we have this statement that God didn't send Jesus into the world to point the finger and say, you're dirty sinners, you're wrong, and I've come to judge you. He sent him to save us, okay? Now the word there in the Greek comes from the word sozo. And it is a powerful little word. And um, the exact word is used one other place in the scripture, and I want to take you there momentarily, and it's in Mark chapter 5. I'm making a recording here, Neil, so you need to be quiet, okay? And it's um, in verse 23... And this is Jairus talking to Jesus and begged him earnestly saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she will live. That she may be healed is the same exact word in the Greek as that word saved in John 3.17. Isn't that something that the same word could refer to physical salvation? And, and see, theologically we want to say, well, it's being used in a different way, so it doesn't mean that, all that other... But, but you know what? To me, if the word means can, can, you know, can be used in all these different you know, contexts of salvation then that's what God intends us to understand that salvation is. Salvation is spiritual, it's emotional, it's physical, it's eternal. Turn with me in your Bibles to Romans chapter 5. Hi, Neil. Okay, we're doing a recording, so we can't talk, okay? I can't talk to you now. All right, in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, it says this, and I'm still finding it, so. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. It's the same root there. It's sozo, is the root word. We shall be sozoed through his life. See, God intends us to understand that salvation is so much more than being forgiven and born again. See, he didn't reconcile us to himself through the death of his son just to leave us on our own to try and sort out this life in our own strength. The love of God has provided everything we need to walk in this life and to disciple people for him. That includes physical healing, deliverance from demonic oppression, provision, peace, 
forgiveness. Our God is a big God. We've put him in a little theological box and said salvation means you're forgiven and someday, you know, we'll be healed and everything will be okay. And that's a bunch of baloney. It just, it's not what the Bible says. I don't mean to be offensive to anybody, but I, I want you to take in the, the hugeness of the scripture here. In uh, Romans chapter 10, in verse 9 and 10, it says this. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Sozo. It's that same root. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. See, this suggests to me there's a process where salvation is going from my spirit and working its way out into every part of my life. Because, see, I believe in my heart that, that, that Jesus was raised from the dead. And then I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord over my physical life. He's my healer. He's Lord over my financial life. He's my provision, Jehovah Jireh. He's Lord over, you know, each part of my life, I begin to confess Jesus is Lord over this part of my life. And I begin to experience sozo. This, this working out of what came in my spirit when I was born again and is working its way out into every part of my life. See, if, if, if we really read the scriptures carefully, we're going to see that salvation includes healing and deliverance because that's what the word sozo in the Greek means. Did you know that when... Jairus and Jesus were, were, were together, and a servant came from Jairus' house and said, don't trouble the master anymore. Your daughter's dead. And Jesus said, Jairus, do not be afraid, only believe, and your daughter will be made well. Again, the word made well there is sozo. We're talking about a dead girl here. Blind Bartimaeus, on, uh, blind Bartimaeus on the road to Jericho. Jesus says, your faith has made you whole. Go in, in peace and be free from, you know. Your faith has made you whole. That word made well or made whole in the Greek is from the same root word, sozo. This is the same word that says, For God has not sent his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Sozo. Quickly, turn your Bibles with me to Hebrews chapter 7. And this is another one of those just huge verses of Scripture to me. It says, in verse 25, Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. This is speaking of his high priestly ministry at the right hand of the Father. Because he has an eternal priesthood. After the order of Melchizedek, it says, Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost. And that word to, uh, to the uttermost in the Greek means completely out to the very edges, this way, the width, and completely to the very end. And that word save in the Greek, just guess where that word comes from. I bet you guessed already. Sozo. It's that same root word. In, in, in the Greek it means make whole, provide for, deliver, protect, give peace. It includes all of those things. So his high priestly ministry at the right hand of the Father is to save to the uttermost. Not just to get you forgiven so you can go to heaven someday, but I want he's saying, I want to give you a ministry and I want to send you to the nations and I want every area of your life to be under my lordship so that I can pour out my favor and my grace on you so that you can give my life and my grace and my power to the people that you meet. 
and bring them into relationship with me. One last scripture, and that's James chapter 5. Remember, the question here is, what is God thinking when we say the word salvation? What does that mean to him? What it means to us doesn't matter. If that's not what God intended for it to mean, then we've missed the point. It's what God thinks that's important, not what I think. So, in James chapter 5, verse 14, Is there anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Guess what that word save is in the Greek? <laughs> It comes from the same word, sozo. The prayer of faith will save the sick. Notice it doesn't say the prayer of unbelief. There's a, there's a lot of people praying for people that don't really believe they're going to get well. And then when they don't, they say, well, they prayed for me and I didn't get healed, so I guess it's not God's will to heal me. Well, it says here the prayer of faith. And and see, we, we assume that a mental ascent in my mind, I believe in healing, so therefore I'm praying in faith. But see, to God, a prayer of faith is a prayer from revelation knowledge that the Holy Spirit has given to us of what his will is. Not his will in a certain situation. See, the Bible is the will of God, but we need a revelation from the Holy Spirit. What does the Bible mean? And, and see, Sozo is helping me to see that salvation is spiritual, it's physical, it's emotional, it's eternal. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be sozoed. Think about it. God bless you.